co-creating a world filled with positive possibilities while leading by example, My Power of One takes a stand for kindness. In The Wizard of One, Sue Vickery is joined by new guests in each episode to share inspiring stories and challenge the listener to continue transforming humanity one word and one act of kindness at a time. Be sure to stop by MyPowerOfOne.com and join the movement at MyPowerOfOne on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hello, and welcome to the Wizard of One podcast, a, ma- a magical journey of kindness. We are brought to you by My Power of One, and my name is Sue Vickery, and I am the host today, and we have in the studio with us today, seven-year-old Tinley Poole. Welcome, Tinley, to the show. <laughs> She's smiling right now. I'm going to introduce her. Tinley Grace is seven years young and full of energy and smiles. She's been raised in a small farm in southeast Kansas with her parents and older sister and brother, where they raise black Angus cattle. Tinley enjoys being outside, hanging out with friends, learning, drawing, fashion, and sports. She is currently involved in dance, cheer, tumbling, rock climbing, softball, and basketball. Her love for fashion can be found on her Instagram page, which is at the underscore official underscore Tinley, and that's spelled T-I-N-L-E-Y. Tinley currently reps for Tater Vibe, um, which is dancewear, and she also reps for Mud and Magnolia. She's a busy gal. She has a line of kids' shirts at the My Power of One line. We have a Tinley collection with her favorite words and favorite colors. Today she happens to be wearing bright pink kisses. Uh, Tinley has helped design dancewear for Tater Vibe uh, and recently won a contest for her design with Little London Dancewear. She hopes to continue to design dancewear and clothing and one day climb a 5.15D, I guess is how you say that, um, the hardest rock climbing route ever. So welcome, Tinley. Wow, that is a busy seven-year-old. Tell me when your birthday is. May 19th. Oh, so you and I were both born in the month of May, which means we're both Taurus, so we've got a lot in common. Let's do a high five on that one. There we go. Uh, I And I've, I'm trying to think when I first met Tinley. She lives in the same town as we do. We both live on farms. And I do not remember the first time we met, but we... Um, just hooked up very quickly, and I brought uh, Tinley into the coffee shop and said, you know, I'd like to do a, a line of My Power One shirts that you represent. And we met, do you remember meeting in the coffee shop? And I, I had her give me five words that were her go-to words and pick the colors. So uh, that we've had a, you know, we've had a really solid relationship since then, and I just thought she'd make a great uh, interview today. Tinley, let me start by asking you, here's a question for you. You ready? And remember to talk into, close into the microphone there. I would like you to, de- to describe to us your best day ever. When I was in Texas, my mom let me have $100. Did she give you a $100 bill? And then what did you do with it? I bought all toys. You spent the entire $100? Where did you go? Like to all talk, uh, Target, uh, Walmart. Oh yeah, five below. Five below is a good. Is that's a good and affordable in there. And how, so you bought a whole bunch of toys with your one hundred dollar bill, and you spent. And that was on a family vacation, I'm assuming. And tell me what you bought. Do you remember? I know one thing. I bought. Okay. It was the new Disney mini band. Oh, and, and I understand on your drive up to the city today for our uh, time together that you were singing uh, Disney songs. So you sang Disney songs the whole way up. Do you have favorite songs? Have you watched most of the Disney movies? Mm-hmm. Okay, what songs are your favorites? 
And do you know any of the verses that we could sing together? Morgan Wallen. Oh, okay. Well, that was a concert that you went to recently. Morgan Wallen, correct. Uh, what about Disney songs? Have you seen, um, have you seen, um, is Frozen a Disney movie? Yes. So, so the songs from there. I'm trying to think, what are some of the songs from Frozen? Can you remember? I'm trying to think what this, some of the. Some of the some of the very very popular ones are. Oh, let it go, let it go. So when you sing these songs, let's say in the car, do you um, do you know all the words, or do you have to sing along to like uh, the radio, or how how do you do that? You know all the words already. Sing along. Oh, you sing along with with other with the songs that are playing on the radio. All right. Is singing one of your favorite things to do um, in your spare time? Or tell me how you spend your, how's your summer going? Tell me what, how you spend your summer. Go swimming. And yesterday, was it yesterday? I went to the tire swing. And also on the 1st of July, I saw a bull riding show. And a, a bull kicked one of them down and then he jumped back up and did a front flip over it wow that was over in lebo you went guys went over to that yeah i i saw some of the footage from that it looked like it was really fun it's probably pretty hot that night wasn't it when you were over there mm -hmm. now tell me about the tire swing where where was that at it's at the fairgrounds oh i didn't know that they've got a tire swing at the fairgrounds i'll be darned and is it scary no so you just Fine. get on you just get on it and someone pushes you and you go kind of flying back and forth Oh, fun. You like to be outdoors a lot. I think the day I came to visit you, you were going to go kayaking after I left. Did you get that done? No. no. Okay. You were, you were, you were, you were busy with your, your doll in the stroller, and you guys were going to go outside and jump in the, in the kayaks. On, that was on Monday. Was that the no. 4th of July? I think it was, yeah. No. Right. Um, we went swimming and did the tire swing. Okay. Did you go swimming in the pond, or did you go? Did you go to the? You been to the water, the splash park? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about the splash park. I haven't actually seen it going yet. Is it? Tell, how does it work? Do you like put your hand in front of something and it starts, and mm -hmm. and then you just just jump around in the water? Mm -hmm. Is it is it a lot of fun, or is it scary, or what's it like? It's fun. Is it fun? Yeah, I'm going to bring my grandson when he comes next month, and we'll take him over there to do that. I guess Saturday they're having a grand opening that they're going to have a bunch of activities going on and food trucks and stuff like that. So maybe I'll see you at that if you're going to be there Saturday. Uh, all right, well, one of the things I asked you when we were together, and I'm going to, I'm going to ask you these questions again. Um, tell me your favorite color. Gold. Oh, that's what she said the other day. Your favorite color is gold. Uh, and then, um, how about your favorite food? Every kind of food. Every kind. Okay, especially candy, which is what we're eating right now. And you told me that Smarties, which you and I are eating some Smarties right now. They're my favorite. They are good. Because there's several different kinds. There's like a tropical and then sour. I think I just got a sour one. <laughs> and then M&M's. You mentioned M&M's. What are you eating right now? What's that that you got? Airhead. Oh, the Airhead? I'm not familiar with those. They look like they're kind of sour, too, though. You know what? They look like rainbows. And you told me that's one of your favorite words. As a matter of fact, don't we have a My Par of One shirt that has rainbow on it? I, I think that's one of your words. Oh, well, let me see it. Pull it up. So we have five words that we have created for Tin Lane Rainbows, one of them, and I let her pick the colors of each of the logos, and they are just um, in the brand just because of her. She also represents clothing for Mud and Magnolia. They're out of Paola, correct? And it looked like they have hair accessories like bows, and what else do they have uh, for Mud and Magnolia? Just lots of bell bottoms or different, some wild clothes. Oh, she's, she's directing the... She's directing mom with the, with the beverage. Um, I, I understand that you designed some dance wear. And could you tell me a little bit about how did you draw it or how do you design dance wear? I draw them. Some I draw and they make. Um, some they just make. So you do a drawing and then you give it to, um, oh, is this like a drawing of it here? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
That's like a coloring book, right? Yeah. Okay. So you do the drawing and do the coloring. Do you put the colors that go with it and everything? Flip it. Flip it to the other side. Okay. Hang on. Oh, oh, wow. That's very colorful. Kind of looks rainbow-ish. So is this Stanceware then? Mm -hmm. Is this the one that you won the contest for? Yeah. All right. It's the Little London book. The Little London book. That is, looks like, it's seven years old. Did she did, did this this year? At six? Last year? Okay. So you were six when you did that. You're already designing dancewear. Do you see yourself as a, um, how would you describe yourself to me? What words would you use to describe yourself? I don't know. You love the outdoors that much, I know. You like uh, the beach, swimming, kayaking. So you love the outdoors. And when I asked you the other day what your favorite food was, you told me candy. So I think that's a good food group. You know, mine would be ice cream, of course. I'm looking at some pictures that uh, are of you playing t-ball. That and was last year. Was it last year? Okay. I play softball. You play softball in the summer? Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you play a certain position, or how, how, do you, how are you on the team? First base. First base, wow. Have you hit any home runs yet? No home runs. Are you a pretty good batter? Okay. And then I've got one here of dance. No, this is cheerleading. So this is cheer. I didn't know you could do cheer at, is this this year's picture, Tinley? Okay, so that's, that's and you've been doing cheer for, what, a year or two? Who, who, who is your instructor? Is mom the instructor? Okay. So you've got cheerleading outfit, and then this is dance. That's your dance, and you probably have lots tumbling. of different. Oh, that's tumbling. Okay, that's tumbling. And then what about this one here? Is that dance? Okay. So that's quite a few different activities, right? And are you going into second grade next year? Yep. Do you like school? No. Okay, tell me why. Because it's boring. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Are there any parts of uh, are there any parts of school that you do like? Recess and lunch. Well, that's what I figured. Do you guys have a gym? Do they have some kind of a, a gym class? Okay. And so your two favorite parts of going to school are recess and lunch. Do you take a lunch? Okay, so you take your own food. Do you take candy? <laughs> Probably not. One time I took four packs of. Um, Nerds and people were like, I want some, I want some. Did mom know that you had four packs of nerds in there? I wonder. Oh, no. Did you eat them? Oh, did you share them? You Le can't share. That makes sense. Yeah, you can't share with your friends. Did you eat them at lunch? That's that's uh, that's interesting. Now, you got and a snack. You got in front of you like this huge pile of hundred dollar bills. I'm trying to figure out. One hundred seventy-two dollars. Is that how many you got? One hundred seventy-two of those. Mm -hmm. And and it's like play money, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where did you get it? Amazon. Oh, that's right. You told me that you got this. So she's got a huge pile of one hundred dollar bills, and um, oh, I see. It's for motion picture use only, so you can use those like in, in uh, like if you're making a movie or something like that. Um, so do you, are these all yours? Mm -hmm. You don't share them with your brother and sister? No. Okay. Do you keep them in your bedroom? All right. Well, what are you planning on doing with them? What are you planning on doing with them? I don't know. Oh, that'll be fun. You could take them shopping. They aren't real. Oh, thank you. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, you probably would have trouble buying anything with those. Um, so tell me about picking flowers. Do you guys, you guys live on a kind of a farm? Mm -hmm. and we got some flowers. What kind? What color? Yellow. Okay. And are those the ones you pick then? Mm-hmm. And then do you put them, what do you do with them once you pick them? Do you just throw them Give them to my mom. That's sweet. And she puts them probably in a vase or something around the house. So do you do that on a daily basis? You pick flowers, yellow ones. Let me ask you this question. Do you have chores that you have to do in the summertime? Are there? Does your mom have things that she wants you to do? Yes. Tell me what they are. Clean up the house. Oh, fun. What does Not that, fun. What does that mean exactly? Clean up the um, 
bathroom. Okay. And oh, is this is this the part that's being made up? Is this the? <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. Tell me what you do in the bathroom. I clean. Okay. Does that mean that you clean the toilet or you mop the floor? I clean off the bar and I clean the shower. Okay. And then do you do any laundry? Yes. Oh, you do laundry too. And you clean your bedroom? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing she doesn't do is clean her bedroom. All right. Do you get an allowance? Do you know what an allowance is? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like you got a bunch of hundreds there, so you must be doing something. Something right, I'd say. Tell tell our audience who's going to be listening to this what we you and I did before we came into the podcast um, studio here. We both got dressed up. What did we do? We filmed a show. We did. We filmed a presentation of some awards, didn't we? Mm-hmm. You told me on Monday you were going to be nervous. Were you nervous? Yes. Really? And, and your dress was quite special. Was that brand new? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, how, how, how have you liked the, uh, being in the studio so far? All right. You like it all right? And what are you doing afterwards? Are you going to go on shopping? Mom said that she had a big surprise, so oh. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, let's guess at what it could be. Let's guess together, and then you can tell me later if it was. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that your big surprise, and I don't know what it is, but I'm going to guess it has something to do either with ice cream. I'm gonna, yeah. You don't like ice cream? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to guess it has something to do with um, shopping. So I'll just say uh, you're. I'll just say you're going to go to Oak Park Mall, and you're going to go to the Lego store. That's yes. What, that's what I'm going to guess. Yes. So you tell me later what you end up doing. No, we're going to go to Build a Bear. Oh, that's cool too. I yeah. want to go to Build a Bear. Have you done a bear yet? Uh uh-uh. uh Okay. What What would you name your bear if you had it? Rosie. Oh, that's cute. I like it's going to be a girl bear then. And don't they like? record and they have they talk or something like yeah. that okay because i've got one at the farm that i did uh all right well let's talk about rock climbing in our town we have a rock climbing silo that's called white elephant buttress and it's run by mike meyer <laughs> and do you go weekly to that timley tell us about what the, it's like to climb at the at the rock climbing place it's all done. I climb drill rocks. Mm. In other words, you go out, you don't do it at the at the silo, you go out someplace else. You go out into into the into nature and do it. And do you ha- tell me what you have to put on? What do you wear? Harness. Just a harness. What kind of shoes? Rock climbing shoes. Rock climbing shoes? I didn't know they had those. Okay. And also out there we always got ticks. Really? I don't doubt it. So after you're done, you have to w- look over and make sure you didn't have any ticks stuck to you. Is it a scary th- thing to do? Yeah, because one time Mike said when he was setting up ropes out there, yeah. he saw something moving fast in front of him, and they said it was a snake. Oh, wow. Do you guys have snakes at your farm? Have you seen any, like out by the pond or anything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you were rock climbing with Mike, and, and were there other kids doing it as well? Mm-hmm. Did you see the snake or not? No. Nah. Okay. And did you go all the way to the top? Yep. Do you know what Do you know what it means to do the 5.15D, the hardest rock climbing route? I don't know what that means. Do you know? It means the hardest route that you have to climb. So it's like really steep or something like that? Okay. It's really hard. Is Mike a pretty good instructor? Mm-hmm. All right. Anybody else uh, work there at the uh, with Mike that you are that are your instructors? Yeah. Who? You know any of the other names? Who is it? I don't. I don't know any of the other names. A couple of the other I know his dad used to work there. Ray? No. Okay. Huh? Quinn. Quinn. Okay, so Quinn. Oh, I think I met him. I think I met Quinn. Yeah, so he's, he's one of the instructors that you go with as well. All right. Um, so I would like to talk about your fashion design because you seem to have the ability to create things, which is a lot like who I am. 
And do you see yourself in the future, Tinley, being a fashion designer? Have you liked fashion since you can remember? Um, what do you What do you see your future as far as fashion design being? Hairstylist. Oh. Video. Yeah, you should. Maybe my next music video, you could be in it. But would you want to sing in it or play an instrument, or what would you want to do? Dance in it or play an instrument. All right. What instrument do you play? Guitar. Hmm. That's drums. Cool. Oh, drums. Oh, you've changed it to drums now. Okay, so you would be a drummer in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any particular songs that you would like? Uh, that, what, do you like country, or what kind of music do you like? Country. Because it looks like you guys went to a concert recently in Kansas City, I'm assuming. Uh, T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Yeah, it was at the Experience Center. Uh, Morgan Wallen, is that who you saw? Yep. What was that experience like? It was my first concert, and was it, it was fun. Was it loud? Yes. And you have good seats, and you could see and everything? Do you have a favorite song of his? Going up, down, up, down, oh, up, yeah. down. Yeah. You like to sing in your spare time, don't you? You like music. Um, all right, so on your fashion design, are you working on anything currently right now? Are you designing anything? No. No, nothing right in, in the moment. Mm. Um, one of the things you and I are going to do today is we're going to come up with a new My Par of One Word that we can put into the brand. And I think, um, all right, got, we've got a few word choices here. So um, the other day I asked you a favorite word and you said the word rainbow, although we already have that in the brand because we put that in for you, which is, yeah, that's a good word. Uh, any other words that you would like to speak to us about today that we could add to the to the uh, flowers? My flowers, good job. Flower singular or flowers plural? Singular, one flower or lots of flowers? Lots of flowers. Okay, so flowers is going to be the word that we co-create, and what color should we make that? Uh, white. White. Okay, white would be good. That's a good idea because you know you can have two colors like in this shirt right here. I want white and yellow. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. All right. So do we want the word flowers white and this part yellow or do we want this part yellow and the word flowers white? I'm going to give you the choice. The flowers word is white. Gotcha. And then the, the circle around it is yellow? Yeah. Okay. So my producer Wait, Katie is making notes for me. Of out of it mm -hmm. would be. What about what color should the shirt be then? Blue. Blue. Okay, very good. See uh, how she answers questions very quickly. All right, so take notes on that because we're going to be adding that new color to the brand. Flowers is what that we're going to add. We got specific uh, colors and everything connected to it. I'll probably have that ready for you to look at this weekend. Then the other thing we're going to do today, Tinley. Yeah is we are going to talk about kindness. And then uh, we're going to, remember we talked the other day about creating an act of kindness that uh, your friends and family could do. Um, if, you were, if you were in school, let's just say, and the teacher said, Tinley, come up to front of the class, and she said, would you tell the class, would you describe the word kind to the class? What would you say? Helping someone. Mm -hmm. And a lady crossed the road. Okay. Did you have you had that experience where you've wanted, no? Oh, you haven't. No. All right. So together, then we want to do a random act of kindness that has to do with helping someone. Right? Is it someone in need? Is it a child? Is it a grandma? Who Who do you see that that would be great to help? A grandma and a baby. Oh, that's good. How about like a an animal, like a Puppy dog or some, taking a dog for a walk or something like that. Feeding the dogs. Feeding the dogs. Well, that's a good one. How about doing some household chores for to save mom doing some stuff, doing the laundry? <laughs> I do the dishes and I clean the living room. Oh, very good. Because you guys have, what, several dogs? Uh, five. Five? Rip. Rip. Who else? I met I Hank, met Hank. Ella, Tex. Wow. So, good. so that's four. So good. 
and are your dogs, do they come in the house and sleep in, in your beds and stuff? How many? No. Four altogether? So they're outside dogs. So we added a word together, flowers, and we created the colors for it. We're going to put that into the brand. We described, uh, we described, oh, she's reaching for my candy. We described um, the word kindness, which she said helping others, and specifically grandma, a grandma or a baby, and maybe like doing some jobs. She's grabbing her, getting her candy lined up there. Um, I, here's a question for you while you're lining up your candy. Uh, I want you to, to look at me and think of a question you can ask me. Tell me when you're ready. I don't know. Think about it a minute. What question? Just make one up. Can I do a joke? Yes, you may. Are you, tell me when you're ready. Why did the dog cross the road? Why did the dog cross the road? To get to the other side? No, to get to its family. Oh, that's a good one. That's kind of I like that one. Do you know any others? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why did the duckies cross the road? The duckies? Okay. To get to their family? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One last joke before we change subjects. Come on, come up with one last joke for me. Nah. Is one, did you get one censored? All right. Why the, um, the emoji face cross the road? Oh, that's a good one. Why did the emoji face cross the road? To meet its cousin. No. <laughs> to get to the chickens to bite them. Oh, get to the chickens to bite them. That that is. The chickens gonna bite him. Oh, that is a, that's a unique answer. Do you see yourself being a comedian when you get older? You what think? does that mean? Oh, like you tell jokes. No. No. If you if you when you get to be your mom's age, what do you see yourself doing? Clean trilogy. Doing what? Clean trilogy. I have no idea what she just said. Oh, okay. That's what you see yourself doing. Well, and then, and then, are you are you going to uh, are you going to be a mom someday? So you plan on having a family, maybe? Will you ha will you have pets? Will you have any animals when you're older? Yeah, I'll have a German Shepherd. Oh, a German Shepherd. How about kitties? Yeah. No kitties. How about ponies? Yes. Daddy sold my cat. Oh, okay. Well, did, do you, have you ever ridden a horse? Yeah, no. You haven't ridden a pony yet? Well, I have. I have a pony, but I can't ride it oh. anymore. Oh, I didn't know that. It's too old. Oh, what's the pony's name? Horsey? Sunflower. Oh, Sunflower. That's a cute name. Do you guys have any sunflowers at your farm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do too. Uh, so you need to come out to our farm sometime and, and uh, get on the... Uh, horses. We don't have any horses, but remember we got the secret swing. That is, uh, is, is you need to come out sometime and get on the swing and take a, take a magic ride on the swing sometime. Have you been fishing? Yes. We're, we're getting close to being done, so leave your he headphones on for just a couple more minutes. Do you, have you caught any fish? Yeah. What have you caught? I don't know what they're called. Like little ones? Or big fish? You could tell her. Perch. Oh, perch out of your pond. All right. So what's your favorite activity to do on, on any summer day? Go swimming. Oh. In the pond or in a, po in a pool? Pool. Okay. Fish is going to bite you or a snake, a water snake. Yeah, you mean if you're in the pond? Yeah. Do you guys have a boat you go out in at all? Paddle boat or anything on the pond? Yes. Hmm? Kayak. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got kayaks. I forgot about that. All right. So I think we've covered a lot of topics here today. Children. 
all, we're, we're close to being done. <laughs> uh, I think we've covered that we like candy. Yes. And we've eaten a few pieces of candy here uh, since we've been sitting here. Maybe more to come. You've got a surprise coming up this afternoon that you don't know what it is. Mm-mm. Remember, I predicted it was the Lego store at Oak Park, so you can tell me later what you end up at. Or build a bear. Or build a bear. Yeah, that's right. Or maybe both. Because look at all this money you've got to spend. <laughs> it's not real. Oh, okay. It's fun to fun to carry around, though, isn't it? We should talk about you have a brother and a sister, correct? Yes. Thank you. I need that. Tell me their names. Trey and Taylor. Okay. And are they are they a uh, good brother and sister? No. They're not? Okay. Trey and not. Okay. He's mean. Oh, is he? Is your brother? Yeah, I had two brothers, so I understand how that works. Um, and then, but your older sister is, is really great, right? Okay. All right. Well, I think we, uh, oh, yeah, we've all got a bunch of $100 bills now that we can, like, not spend together. Uh, I think we figured out that you are a multi-talented young lady at seven and lots and lots of interests. I have described you before as what I call a free spirit. We're very close to being done. Should you leave the earphones on just a little bit longer? I am. And um, and and I thank you for being here. Um, thank you, Tinley Pool. And again, her social media is um, at. Um, wait, I gotta find it again. So if you want to if you want to follow her adventures on uh, social media, at the underscore official underscore Tinley, T-I-N-L-E-Y. And she posts a lot of her... followers I got? Oh, yeah, how many followers do you have? About 1850. 18, 1850. followers, probably from all over the country, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. And so you're building quite a social media presence. Um, and you do a lot of modeling. You do a lot of modeling with clothes. I see a lot of uh, uh, you in different clothing uh, outfits for your pictures often. I, I would consider you a design, a young designer that's probably got a lot to offer the world in the future. So as we wrap, I want to say thank you for, to uh, Tinley Pool for being here today and joining us. Uh, she and I just did a, uh, a presentation for some film awards, and we got all dressed up, dolled up together. We've had quite a fun experience, and this is a first for her to... to um, be in the studio today, uh, and then I appreciate my, okay, oh yeah, so um, at Tinley's actually going to be, hers going to be live in uh, in August, and we'll, we'll have hers live for the audience to listen to her um, interesting podcast, uh, and next week we're actually going to be in the studio with um, my favorite ice cream owners from San Diego. And so we will, uh, we will have that one live this, this month. But My Power of One is, um, is the official sponsor of the uh, Wizard of One. And we, are, we like to examine the, uh, <clears throat> the kindness and everything connected to kindness in the world. So thank you, Tinley, for being here. And, um, and then we'll see you next time. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot.